Ever since I've begun playing Pokemon Radical Red, I've received countless comments recommending I check out Pokemon Unbound right after. This is due to the fact Pokemon Unbound was made by Skelly, the person that created the engine Radical Red was built off of. The creator of Radical Red, Supercell, said, Pokemon Unbound could easily be the best hack out there by quite a margin. Pokemon Unbound has so much content jam-packed into it. I'll do my best to give you a quick rundown of what you can expect from this game. A powerful new engine that is on par with Generation 8's. A new HM system, all your Pokemon can use HM moves without having to learn them. Updated graphics, sporting the Gen 4 overworld and Gen 5-esque interfaces. Choose from 4 different difficulty modes, ranging from easy to insane. A unique mission system, Pokemon Unbound contains over 75 unique missions to complete. Character customization, choose up to 300 different combinations of skin tones, hair colors and outfits. Daily events, mini games which include Safari Sniper and Underground Mining. Challenging puzzles, a rich post game where you'll spend hours battling in battle facilities, completing missions, catching legendary Pokemon and much more. A custom OST, 50 unique songs were composed for Pokemon Unbound. And finally, we have unlimited backspace, auto run, dex nav, daily raids, inverse battles, etc. A lot of these are features we saw in Radical Red, but like I said, Radical Red is built off of Skelly's engine, so of course there will be some overlap. It doesn't make it any less impressive. After how much I enjoyed Radical Red, I have no doubt I'm going to fall in love with this ROM hack too. One thing I want to make clear is that this ROM hack is going to be different from Radical Red in the sense that it is very story heavy. There's a lot of dialogue to go through, so if that's not your speed, maybe give this playthrough a miss. Otherwise, I think I've kept you waiting long enough. If you're excited for this series, please leave a like. It's time to check out Pokemon Unbound. I don't know about y'all, but I'm so ready to check out Pokemon Unbound. Um, my main issue is that it's like one of those games that has a bunch of new story. And I don't know, I don't love the story in Pokemon games. So when it, when it comes to the, the fan, fan created stories, I'm a little bit nervous that it's just gonna be not good. But I'm willing to give this one a chance because I mean, it's got a bunch of other good features along with it. So even if I don't like the story, doesn't mean the game itself is necessarily bad. It's just personal preference and all. So yeah, let's get started. Pokemon Unbound. It's got a unique title screen and everything. I love that so much. I That title screen, man. Let's say no. This option will be changed uh, at some point during the option menu. Okay, long ago. The Boreas, Boreas region was engulfed by a great war with the Kalos region. It was a brutal war, one which lasted many years. During that time, Kalos managed to seize the upper hand. Oh. Yo, Agron is going at it on that goaler, god damn! On the brink of defeat, the Borean King summoned a dark force to help turn the tides of the battle. Opa Unbound, who would have fucking guessed? The Kalosian army's advantage was lost almost instantly. As soon as it entered the battlefield, the dark force used its power to create portals and transport the invading army back to Kalos. In a bit, mate. With the foreign army gone, uh, the war seemed at an end for Boreas. However, their king, overcome by the lust for power, sent the Borean army through the portals as well. The war continued to rage in Kalos for several years. Many more men and Pokemon were conscripted to fight and inevitably met their end at the battlefield. On the battlefield. Uh, one such Pokemon having being a dear friend of the Kalosian king. Overcome with grief, the king built a device to restore its life, granting himself immortality in the process. That's Floette, hey man. Easy slow it. Oh, that's who the king is. Okay, oh well, the Kalosian king. Um, but this traumatic event left him scarred and filled with anger. Unable to forgive the world that had hurt his precious Pokemon, he turned his machine into a giant weapon, the ultimate weapon. The king became the bringer of destruction that ended the war. Yep, there it is. These guys really just slapped a PNG of this fucking weapon on my screen. With the war over, what little remained of the Borean army returned home. The king's Pokemon left him, and the battlefield became silent. Yet, peace was still to come. Enraged over the fruitless war fought, survivors of the war wished for ample compensation from the Borean king. When he had nothing to offer them, they began to manipulate the dark force to attack the Borean kingdom in an attempt, attempted coup. In an effort to stop the madness, the Borean king gathered the legendary Pokemon, Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno baby. Wait, that was Arcuno, not, not Zapdos, holy shit. Uh, using the power of the three birds combined with the plates of Arceus, the Pokemon that shaped the universe, a prison 
was created for the dark force, sealing its power. Brah. It became a shadow of its former self. Stripped of its power, it was taken in by the king and supervised by his progeny until one faithful day. 16 years ago. Okay, you got some deep lore story stuff going on. I want to just say, I'm not the best reader on the planet, so I do apologize. Arceus. I fear my time's almost up. Who the fuck's this geezer? This Pokemon. If the next experiment goes south, it will fall right into his hands. I told him using its power is dangerous, but without my guidance, I worry that he'll sell it, settle on it as an alternative method for achieving his goal. And that's why I need to do this. Bruh, it's gone. Now, it's time for you to go to Arceus. Arceus, I'm so inconsistent. <laughs> There's no point in you sticking around any longer. Just promise me one thing. Please watch over my child. Motherfucker became friends with God. Arceus said, all right, in a bit. Bruh. Elsewhere. Okay. Arg. How can I fulfill Grampy's wish if I can't even catch a single Pokemon? I promised him I'd finish it, but at this point, I don't see that will be even possible. Please, Arceus, if you're real, give me a sign that everything will work out. Bruh. A Pokeball here? Now? Arceus is real after all. There's just no way. This Pokemon. Hoopa. It appears, Grampy, that there may be a way after all. It's time for the Eternal Flower to bloom once more. Aww. Who the fuck are these guys? Ah, uh, okay. Pokemon Unbound. Okay, that was a pretty cool intro. I'll give them that. Uh, welcome to Pokemon Unbound. Before you begin playing, please be aware that this is a non-profit fan game. If you paid for this game, reclaim your money immediately. This motherfucker spin. In the world in which you are about to enter, you will embark on a grand adventure with you as the hero. The world is a big place. Take your time exploring there's no rush i love games like that man i do i do enjoy a, a good pokemon game where i don't have to rush speak to people and check things wherever you go be in towns roads or caves the world and its people are alive as you grow they will grow along with you okay so keep this in mind your actions can affect and change the world around you not every decision you can make will result in the same outcome. Oh, that's kind of scary. This is like an Undertale situation. Hmm. <laughs> With that in mind, you are almost ready to enter the Bor Boris Boreas region. Boreas region? I'm going to just call it Bojo. The Bojo region. Boris Johnson. The Bojo region. Uh, but first, choose your character. Yeah, so there's character customization. Uh, I kind of want to play as a girl. Uh, uh, do I? Yeah, dude, Callie's going to fucking... Oh, I didn't mean to play. Okay, choose your character. Choose your skin tone, you can choose your skin tone and stuff like that. That's actually dope as hell. Choose your hair color. Oh hell yeah. I don't know. Like, um, it was like the same with Pokemon Insurgents. I felt like I felt like the character customization because they, they allow character customization, I felt like it was really tacky and didn't look the best. Um, so I don't know. I think with, with GBA games, I would rather just I, I would rather they, they, they just like I look like a fucking elf. What the fuck's going on here, man? I, I would rather they just <laughs> let me let me play as I don't know. I kind of want to try the guy. I don't know. I'd rather them just let me play as uh, you know whatever. I mean, this skin tone thing's cool for sure, though. I'm not against that. I don't know. Uh, this guy just looks like Faulkner. I mean, it's you know, there's only so much you can do with his pixels, of course. I just think the yellow outfit looks a little ridiculous. Eesh. I don't really like what, what. I should just dress in all black, right? I'm a fucking goth, right? I just do. I just go all black. Is this what you look like? I uh, yeah. Go ahead. Where's the no hair option? Last but not least, what's your name? Um, fuck it, man. I'm just gonna play as a boy. It's Cal. Your name is Cal? Yeah. Choose your preferred difficulty. Setting impacts difficulty of Pokemon battles. A high difficulty means smarter trainers and smarter wild Pokemon. So guys, I'm gonna do insane. <laughs> this may be changed and easier saying at any point during the options menu. Okay, that's hard hard difficulties may never be chosen until the game is complete. Okay. Would you wish to play the darker version of the story? This version is much greater than the normal version. Sure. The option may not be changed during gameplay. That's fine. Oh, that reminds that, this reminds me of Pokemon Insurgents. Oh god. Okay. I'm not the biggest fan. Oh, what the fuck? Why is he spawning here? Why are you here, bro? I'm just the main character, I guess. What's up? What's happening? 
Bro, why? What is good? What the? Two in one day? Quick, scientist. Um, what are you standing around for? Grab him. Now knock him out and lock him in the warehouse. Zeph is going to freak out when he hears about this. Bro, what did I even do? Why is Hoopa... This is reminding me so much of Insurgents, but at least it's a GBA game. He's unconscious, Hoopa. Hoopa just... Schmoovin', bro. Stop. What did I tell you about traveling through my cube space? Just because you can't travel through your rings anymore, that doesn't give you the right to use my cube without permission. And were you the one responsible for bringing these two here? I don't know what you wanted with them, but you've been a, nu a nuisance ever since I found you on that beach 16 years ago. That's oddly specific. At least we know who he is now. I may not be a true guardian, but I'm your trainer now and you will obey me. These two won't rescue you from me. That's what you think. What a pain. Okay, so what's good? Oh, there's like auto run on? That's... Auto run has been disabled. That's weird. I don't really like auto run as a feature, so I'll turn it off. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of the of the Gen 4 graphics on um on a Gen 3 game, to be honest. I think it looks really weird. Like, you, you see what I'm talking about? But, you know, whatever. It, ma it makes it stand out at least. Okay. Need to get a fucking card key or whatever. Cool. Uh, we can't go that way either. I don't know. Playing this game myself, no. I don't know. It does feel kind of nice. It, do it does feel It does feel kind of nice. Kind of liking this. Um, what's this? Is this the... It's the potion. Okay. This is giving me big insur insurgents vibes though. And I wasn't the biggest fan of insurgents story. Uh, he's unconscious, but I'll leave him alone for now. Okay, we'll leave him alone. Do I just like go down and talk to this guy then? Where do you think you're going, kid? I'm under a structure order to keep you locked up. Okay. Okay, but what am I actually meant to do down here? Soundtrack's okay. You can definitely tell it's like fan made though. <laughs> oh wait, is this like a way out over here? Like what's... What the... I feel like I shouldn't be allowed to speed up in this game. This does not feel like a game that should have speed up. Um, many Pokemon locked in this cage. Is that, is that it? Can't do anything about it? The door requires a card key with clearance level 2 to be opened. So I don't have that. Uh, oh wait, cube? Oh, what the fuck? You have a cube in this game instead of a bag? Interesting. Just so you guys know, I've not actually seen like any playthroughs of this game. So I, I know like literally nothing. All HMs is on. L button, auto run, R button. You can, oh, view party? Yo, that's so fucking sick. Yo. Yo, that is so fucking cool, dude. Uh, let's change the frame up real quick. <laughs> okay, this is the frame I like. Okay, experience share on, fast messaging on. Type icons, I'll just turn them on. I don't really need them, but I'll turn them on anyway. I'll change battle style to set. Actually, wait, Sem shift, semi shift? What does that even mean? What does semi shift mean? Background music on, overworld theme, default, wild theme, default. Oh wait, you can change? Okay, maybe there'll be an option to change them in the future. And it tell, it's it's like fucking telling you guys what time of night I'm recording this as well. That's kind of crazy. Do I just abuse this guy? Like, look how much bigger I am than him. My head is massive. I found a repel. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I just gotta like look, look everywhere. Something's writing on his shirt. It's his name. It is... Oh, okay. So you get to name him. Uh, this is definitely JD type B. I'm going to name him JD. Is his name JD? Yes. Huh? What's going on? Where am I? What's going on? Oh, wait. You're that kid from down the road. Cal, right? Do you know what we're doing here? What? You don't know? You must be in the same situation as I, as I am. Uh, have you seen some sort of exit around here? There is one, but it's blocked by a man dressed in black. Take me there. I'm going to try and break through. Okay. All right, boss. I kind of wish I was JD, dude. He's got red hair. He's fucking dripped. Hey, who do you think you are? You think you can get away with keeping us locked up in here? You better let us through right now or you're going to suffer. Back off, kid. I'm going to strict orders to keep you locked up. Oh, shit. Try him unless you want to suffer. Oh, smart choice. Keep away from this door and you won't regret it. Doesn't look like he's going to move, Cal. We'd better look for another way out here. All right, buddy. I made my new friend. That's actually so... That's, uh, that's, that's cool. Is this is this a way out? Is this... <laughs> Fuck. Is this a way out? I need I need a hint. There is no hint. Oh wait, maybe we can like break open the Pokemon cage. Yeah. Hear that, Cal? Sound like some Pokemon trapped in the cage over there. Let's go check it out. Appears to be fragile. Break it. The lock has been broken and the cage is now open. Oh, <gasps> bro! You get fucking pseudo legendaries. Looks like these Pokemon are as grateful and wants to join us. If we take one each and put them in these Pokeballs I picked up, then we can use them to attack the guard and escape. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and use a Pokemon. Oh my God. Um, it's gotta be Gibble. I think it's always gotta be Gibble, right? I don't really care for these other ones that much. So yeah, it's gotta be Gibble. My boy or girl has the relaxed nature. Oh, so you can soft reset for the right nature. Oh wow, fuck, I wish I saved. Damn it. 
Uh, oh, it's a girl too. Yes. Garchomp is claimed by Gingerjaw, aka Corvin. Thank you very much. They want me to name it Kiba. I'm done with that. I'll take this one then. Okay, cool. We left the worst one for last. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Disheartened, the Beldum left. Aw, that's so fucked. What the hell, dude? Can we... <laughs> Can I not have two? I forced a way out of here. All right, cool. We start off with pseudo legendaries. Well, I'll be damn. This isn't the best nature for him, but I, uh, you know, or her rather, I think it'll get better. And it tells you the IVs and stuff. Dope, man. Dope. I told you before, I'm under strict orders to keep you locked up. <laughs> you don't really have a choice now. You're going to let us out or face my wrath. Quit fooling yourself. There's nothing you can do to make me let you through. Cal, let's team up and show this guy what we can do. You both are really starting to get on my nerves. NK, Skarupi, show them why you don't mess with the shadows. Ooh, edgy. Okay. They got the good battle theme, though. Okay. I rate it. I love this battle theme so much. All right, he's gonna go ahead and lead an NK and Skarupi. Okay. No wonder they gave Gibble uh, Fire Punch. Uh, fire Fang, no Fire Punch. Uh, yeah, okay, let's just Fire Punch. He's gonna Poison Stink. Look at Gibble's back spray, oh my god, look at the baby. Larvitar's gonna Sandstorm, yo, fucking go. I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm commentating this like it's a fucking competitive battle, bro. Okay, the text is going by really quick. Okay, I like, I, I don't know if I, I like that, I guess. It means I don't have to speed up as much. I like that, that's dope. That's a good feature. Poison thing missed, fuck you. Dude, this guy, dude, do you, I have pseudo legendaries. I mean, I'm glad that you're not just using fucking Zubat and Drowsy, like, but like, you know, if you poison me, I swear to fucking God, mate. All right, that's what I thought. You better fucking stay in your lane, bro. Ooh, a big crit, big crit, bro, big crit. All right, this, this is done, this is done, this is done. It's not done, okay. And all we got left is the scooter I can only imagine like the grunt's reaction, like, oh my God, I'm fucking getting my ass kicked. We defeat the shadow grunt, yes, sir. I knew it was a bad idea to lock them up in here. Bro, how do you not know that there's like mons? No, my Pokemon, not bad, Cal. You're gonna make a pretty good team, but I'll take it from here. Let me use this potion to heal your Pokemon from the fight. Yep, okay, cool. Larvitar used Bite. Bruh. Dude, he's actually fucking abusing this man. It makes sense though. That like That's the reason why people give up on Pokemon, like when you lose a Pokemon battle. That's why they give you their money. Because otherwise, you'll fucking have them. Literally. Larvitar return. All right, sick. Uh, I'm getting out of here now, Cal. I'm sure you're capable of taking care of yourself from here on out. If you run into any trouble, just use your Pokemon. Oh, one more thing. As soon as you get home, we're gonna battle. You impressed me when we battled together, so I wanna see how I'll fare, fare against you. Until then, don't tire yourself out too much. <laughs> I'll try not to, Big John. All right, let's get out of this bitch. Uh, oh, wait, that guy, he just came out of nowhere. Oh, wow, <laughs> wiped out in an instant, bruh. Dude, you guys are roadkill. Jesus fucking Christ. Now I can't even stop you from escape. Dude, they are roadkill. <sighs> I'm really sorry, sir, but um, those people you asked me to guard, I uh, found some Pokemon and escaped. Fool. All right, fucking escape. Excalibur? How could you let them escape? They saw what we were doing in this lab. If they realized uh, what we were doing and tell anyone, the international police will send the whole ethics committee after us. That could ruin our entire operation. And you think a simple apology will make everything better? No, sir. I, I don't. Uh, but it was a small mistake. I promise it won't happen again. Marlon, I need you to send someone to obtain the weekly supplies from the Pokemon. Make sure they also discreetly obtain a special package that is arriving today. It's, it's critical for operation to capture specimen Uno. By the way, all right, Marlon. Marlon is so dude. These guys are the definition of edge, bro. Jesus fucking Christ. Yes, sir. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the ROM hacker Skelly was just like, I hate that all the grunts look the same. If they're gonna look the same, at least put them in fucking robes so they have a reason to look the same. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Anything else? Um, once that grunt has obtained the package, take it and use it to capture specimen Uno. Oh, it's the master ball on it. As for you, I want to make an example of you. It's time for you to pay for your blunder, bro. Please, I'm sorry. I'll do anything to fix this. Houndoom, incinerate this piece of trash. Houndoom couldn't do that. Dude, he's just gone. Now if someone take his ashes to the lab, let's at least make something useful of this failure. That's crazy. All right, well, I'm out this bitch. We're in frozen heights. Okay, let's see. Where do I go? I'm assuming it's just like a... Oh, oh, I, just like that, huh? Um, I'm going to see if there's anything else over here, maybe. Just just because I'm nosy. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's any other way I can really go. This is unique music, though. I like it. Yeah, I think this is like the only way you can really... You can really go by the looks of it. Cool, whatever. That, that makes sense. Oh, hey. Hal, you finally made it out. Who the fuck's this geezer? Have you met <laughs> old man Log? He's an expert on Pokemon stats or something or other. I've been filling him in on what happened. 
Uh, I study all aspects of Pokemon stats and capture rates. Uh, and my title is professor, not old man. <laughs> The Arceus. I feel like I've told you that too many times. Anyways, that must have been a quite an ordeal you went through. I'm relieved you, you both are unharmed. Uh, you both even managed to acquire your very own Pokemon. Not to mention, rare and powerful ones at that. I was planning on giving JD one someday or another, but I don't have to now. Ho ho ho. Alright, Santa. Uh, someday? It's been 13 years since you started looking after me, old man. I've been asking for Arceus knows how long. <laughs> However, honestly, I gave up believing you would years ago. Well, of course I was planning on it, JD. There are plenty more errands I'm going to... I'm too old to run myself. It's just that, well, your parents left you with me. They asked that I watch over you until you were at least 18 years old. Whatever, Log. Believe what you want. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Now that we're outside, let's show you uh, how a real trainer battles. Oh god, I'm gonna lose. This is a Larvitar, bro. I can't beat a Larvitar. Well, I'll be damned. I mean, it's cute that they actually kept the fact that we both gained levels. Yeah, we're gonna lose. Are we meant to lose this? Probably. Unless I burn. Uh, I am gonna be used now. Ah, uh, it's one of those one of those games, huh? Yeah, my best bet was probably burning him. Oh, I've got an iron berry. Yeah, my best bet is probably burning him, but I don't think I can even do that. Yeah, because tackle does literally nothing. Yeah, I. If I had rough skin, then maybe it would be nice. Yeah, no, there's no chance. We've lost. I mean, I could have sand attacked and relied on hacks, but we ain't a bitch. I'm gonna just take the owl like a man. Dude, Larvitar just. It, that Larvitar was the right choice, probably. Larvitar, come back. <laughs> Looks like you still have a long way to go, Cal. <sighs> well, I'll be damned. You have no more Pokemon that can fight. That was a fine battle. Very enthralling if i do say so myself no one cares how we made you feel log it's only a matter of our pokemon seems strong well um from what i can see your pokemon do have some nice stats i see potential in them to become strong pokemon someday thank you log that's the first usual thing you said all day and it'll be the last because i'm out of here bruh he's got a little attitude on him i kind of like it i kind of like it well he's certainly a handful isn't he and now that he's gone who will run my errands for me? Aha, Cal, you seem capable. Would you like to run my errands for me? <laughs> for your... Li His parents left you with him to look after until he was 18. He gets a Pokemon and dips and you don't even try and chase after him or or not call the authority. You're just like, oh, well, that sucks. Anyways, hello, small child. Do you want to look run after? <laughs> Bruh, whatever. Splendid. Uh, in Bellantown at the Pokemon, there's a package waiting for me. I need you to pick it up. Um, I would get it myself, however, like I said, I previously, I am too old to travel. I have already informed the clerk that I'm not going to get it myself, but he insisted that it must be picked up from Bellantown. It should not be too hard for you since you have your very own Pokemon. Ho, ho, ho. If you need anything from me, I'll be here in my lab. It's not that far, just down the road. But before you go anywhere, you should check in with your mother. She's likely to be very worried about you. Good luck, Cal. My studies depend on you. Damn, he do walk really slow, though. It's okay. I thought... I thought perhaps he like, I thought this was his house and he like got lost or something. <laughs> Is this my mom's house? Wait, who's this? Melanie. Oh, you're Cal, right? I've heard about you from JD. Told me that how you helped him out earlier. It's rare for my brother to respect anyone, but he seems to respect you. Although that's all I need is JD's respect. That's all I would ever want. Okay, cool. Well, JD's room is a fucking tip. I'm going to get out of here. Oop, I did not mean to press that. Oh my god, Kiva's on 1 HP. All right, let's, let's go. Uh, by the way, if you are a uh, Team Hood admin plus, if you have a Pokemon claimed nickname. I will be naming every Pokemon in the series after them. Uh, I made a mistake last series where I didn't name a Gudra after one of my members and I felt really bad about it. Uh, Cause I just, I, don't, I didn't know Gudra was claimed. Um, usually I know if the Pokemon is claimed and I just assumed Gudra wasn't. So that's just a big my bad. Uh, so apologies to that member for that. I did reach out to you on Discord offering you a second Pokemon nickname so you can have two Pokemon for the price of one just to make up for my mistake. Um, I don't know if you saw the message though. <sighs> Anyways, dude, I just spoke to you. Do you have fucking Alzheimer's? Uh, what are you doing? I told you to check in with your mother. Don't look at me like that. Oh, right. Oh, I don't know where she is. I've never played this game before. You fucking shout at me, man. Fucking hell. All right. She lives here, right? Is this my mom? <laughs> Yo, where have you been? I've been really worried about you. Wow, that sounds awfully frightening. I'm glad that you're safe now. Before you do anything else, you should take a license. Nice. Okay. Okay. So this. <laughs> Okay, nice long rest. Uh, I don't feel you feel as ready as we I'm much more rested to run Professor Log's errands for him. Yo, is that Marie? <laughs> I always knew that one day would come and you would leave home. Is that so on TV? If only your father could see you now. You'd be so proud. Well, if you're going to run errands for Professor Log, you'll need this. 
the supercube's mission log component from mom. That's a mission log function for the supercube. Keeps track of anything you've been able to ask to do. Uh, to use it, just open it up from the start menu. It's located on the second page. Just press right to change pages. And now that you have one, why don't we keep a record of Professor Log's request for you? Yay! Oh, and before I forget, you left a key component on your supercube on the floor of your room. I know it wasn't necessary before, but now that you have your very own Pokemon, you'll need it if you want to use those stat boosting items in battle. Okay, excuse me, what's this all about? Just in case you've forgotten, Supercube acts like a bag, but unlike those cheap bags from Pokemart that can only hold 42 items, the Supercube, or as it's more commonly known, Cube, has an infinite amount of space. It works by digitizing the item's data, put it in, um, put into it. So essentially, it's like you're carrying nothing extra at all. And you can even use it to store this parting gift I prepared. That's actually cool though, the costume box. Nah, the costume box is not accessible in this current version. Okay, that's fine. That's a costume box function for your super cube. You can use it to change clothes at any point in your journey, just like the mission log. Uh, open it from the start menu. If you've preloaded it with different outfits you can choose from dude that is so cool that they've managed to pack all this stuff into fire leaf green stay safe out there honey bring professor log his package <laughs> is this marie is she, is that marie am i tripping i have no idea anyways if i press l second item in your cube can be registered with l okay and then i would press r it brings you to my team dude this game is so fucking cool i'm so impressed okay well i guess i gotta go go down the road wait Oh yeah, down this way. Gotta go, gotta go down the road, huh? Dude, this is an icy area. Like, do I really want to be... I've got a gibble, bro. <laughs> I've got a gibble. There's a snow run here. I've got a gibble. Did I remind you? I am four times weak to ice. Please don't flinch me. I swear to God, if you flinch me, you fucking whore. Okay. Um, battle music's pretty cool. I could definitely see myself getting tired of it, but that's just every wild Pokemon battle theme in it. It's really cool and unique though, so I like it. Oh, and it's got like the diamond and pearl, like do 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 do. Okay, so I don't know. This game, this game's kind of I don't know. It's got like a weird. I, I don't like the fourth gen mix, but then I also kind of do. I don't know. It. it I, the reason I don't like the fourth gen mix is because it reminds me of um those uh, exe games, and I feel like exe games are. I don't know. I'm not a big. I'm not the biggest fan of exe Pokemon games, just to say the least. Right? Not the biggest fan of them. So I feel like I feel like the Gen 4 look just reminds me of that. And that's why I'm not the biggest fan of it. Dude, how many times have we been flinched? But it'll grow on me. It'll grow on me for sure. And it's just personal preference at the end of the day. It's just personal preference. So don't get mad at me for having a preference. My bad. Look at this little fucker. All these fucking wild Pokemon have fucking astonished, bro. Trainer tips. Hold the V-Band to change the default movement speed. Yep, I, I know. Hello. Oh, what the fuck? Yo, those lights are pretty. Hey, what's up? You must be Cal. Professor Log phoned ahead and told me to guide you if you got lost. Bedlam Town is just over that way. Wow. How, how nice of him. If you want to set out on a journey through Icicle Crave, prove you're ready by delivering Professor Log's package to him. How does that prove I'm ready? Oh, that Aracuno statue is really pretty, actually. I like that. Is that from Mystery Dungeon? That might be from Mystery Dungeon. That's really nice. Very nice. Dude, bro? <laughs> hey, yo, come here. Please don't disturb me, citizen. I'm on dude. Shut the fuck up. Oink, oink. All right, what's going on here? Pokemart. Yo, wait. The Pokemart looks clean. Oh, I heard the special package arrived today. I want to buy it from you. I'm sorry, sir. I can't do that. The package belongs to someone already. Maybe you misheard me. Give me that package. I won't ask again. I really can't, sir. As a faithful employee of the Pokemart, it goes against what I stand for to give you the package. I see. Well, then, Sneasel, grab that package. Bruh, there's just absolutely no way. Good work, Jeans. Dude, why is there so many ice types here? I'm sorry about this. Take take this for your trouble. Get out of my way. What? Came all the way for the package too. Well, unless you're willing to fight. Oh. Oh, shit. So these actions matter? Dude, I'm going to fight you for it. Of course I am, dude. The fact that they gave you the op... Like, if I said, if I said move... And would it just make me move out the way? Like, that's interesting. I mean, Sneasel is actually super effective on every single starter. So maybe you're meant to lose here. I don't know. Like, quick attack. Yeah, it just kills me. Shit. <laughs> Oops. Oh, so the Pokemon Center is here. Why is it white? I'm so used to the Pokemon Center being red. Maybe it's because it's uh snow, I guess. I don't know. But this is blue. I'm going to put you in your place. Okay, let's try this again. I will Fire Fang. I don't know. Surely it wouldn't just force you to lose. Like if it was just a force lose, then he would have just used a he would have used an ice type move, right? So, yeah. Cold. We're just gonna fire fang. If we're full HP, we can beat it quite easily. I'll just tackle now. Scratch. Yeah, it's fine. Cool. Um, one. Wow, I beat an ice type. Holy shit, dude. Are you proud of me, guys? Level thirteen, baby. Okay, we defeat the shadow grunt. 
Your win doesn't change anything. Did you honestly think that I would give the package even when I lost? I didn't come on this way just to give it up on some zero kid. Now move. No. Okay, maybe it doesn't change anything. I mean, I guess if I said move, I just wouldn't have gained any EXP for that. Uh, are you here for Professor Log's package? Sorry, I uh, hasn't come in yet. Could you come back later? That's fucking cap. <laughs> that is so cap. This man's speaking Japanese. Okay. Well, I guess we've got to run back and, and tell Professor Log, hey, man, sorry. Did you see the package from the mart? Yes, I did, sir. Were you discreet in doing so? I was, sir. I tried not to cause too much uh, commotion. Uh, I even paid for the package as instructed. Good work. The last thing we need right now is the police on our tails. We're too close to the end to be stopped now. Report back to Zeph and inform him of the current of my current status. Yes, sir. Ooh. Well, guess I gotta go tell him that his package got stolen. So what happens if I check this? Missions? Yeah. Oh, search for Marlin and recover the Professor Log's package. Okay. I gotta recover that bitch. So apparently they're in Frozen Heights. Okay, let's have a look around. Or wait, do I maybe go back to the Professor? Yo, these are my package from the belt. Yeah, bruh. I don't know what to tell you. I guess I gotta go find them, huh? Would they be... Oh, hmm. Can you... Hey. Oh, there they are. Hackney use cut. Oh, man's using a, he's like the admin of an evil team and he's using Cacnea, bro. <laughs> one with the wind, one with the snow, a howling blizzard, a world frozen, heed my call, Articuno. Okay, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Come to me. Bruh, he actually came down. Shadow Warriors, restrain it. Now Articuno, it's time for you to become mine. The mission has been complete. Let's report back, report back to Zeph. Oh. You again. What are you doing here? Grunts, one of you get rid of him. Don't expect any mercy from the shadow. I bet. Shadow Grun. Okay, she's different. She's the woman version. Okay, she's... Please don't have... Please don't have a nice time move. I, I can't handle it right now. I keep missing Firefang, bro. And I keep getting flinched by Astonish. This is just a big hacks game. Look at this shit, dude. The fuck is this? Okay. Squeal. Doesn't matter. I bought enough time for everyone else to escape. But nice try, kid. Take this package as consolation prize. We've taken what we needed from it. <sighs> Pain. Well, at least I got the package, guys. Oh, that was clever. Aha, uh -huh. that's clever, actually. Okay, well, let's go give the professor the package, I guess. Oh, Cal, you returned with my package. Ah, it's a shipment from my friends at Oak in the Kano region. Let's see here. Pokeballs, Pokedexes, and uh, where are the Master Balls? Did you open the package and take anything from it? Then, where are my Master Balls? Clearly, someone has rummaged about in here. Ah, I see. You recovered the package from some thugs. And they have must have taken my Master Balls. What? You saw them? And you, one of them used... Ah, you saw one of them... You saw them use one to capture Rakuna. Holy shit. Hmm. If I'm correct, we could be in grave danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. I have one more errand for you to run, Cal. An old friend of mine that lives in Dresco Town. He has a vast knowledge of Borean history. I need you to tell him everything that has transpired thus far. I have a theory about what is going on, but I need him to confirm it. You have your own Pokemon now, so this shouldn't be too difficult. You need to get to Dresco Town by going through Icicle Cave. I'm a, I'm a gibble. Oh, silly me. How can I expect you to find Icicle Cave if you don't know the way? This time lapse should aid you meet immensely. Thank you. Thank you. And you know what? If you're going to get to Dresco Town, you should assist me with another task. My friend Oak requested that I give the Pokedex to two trainers. It's some sort of high-tech encyclopedia for recording Pokemon data. Apparently Boreas is known for having plenty of Pokemon. Kanto does not. Kanto! <laughs> to start, you should aim to see every Pokemon in the Boreas region Pokedex, or as is more commonly known, the West Boreas Dex. Pokemon that only appear in the East are conspicuously left out. A new mission has been added. <laughs> okay. And once you complete that task, aim to capture every Pokemon in existence. Ho ho ho. Oh, well, that's that's not that's not that bad, is it? That's pretty easy. Personally, I don't mind if you record the data in the Pokedex by seeing them. However, if you want to complete the data of the Pokemon, including the base stats of each individual species, the most important thing about them, you'll need to catch them. So, here are some tools for those. Thanks, man. That's that's sick. Thanks, man. Uh, if you don't know how to capture Pokemon, an old friend of mine on Route 1 can show you how. Additionally, my younger sister, N Natasha Log, <laughs> lives in Blizzard City. If you ever meet her, she can upgrade your Pokedex and make it easier for you to encounter Pokemon you are looking for. DexNav? Oh, memory seems to be going. I have one more thing to give you. Please, the next time you see JD, give him this Pokedex. Okay, I will. He's been rather cold to me ever since his parents left me with him as a child, but he seems to get along with you fine. I'm sure if you give him the Pokedex, he'd be willing to assist. Okay, we got a lot of fucking tasks to do, but I think that's as good of a part one as it can be. I don't want this video to be too long. And I mean, additionally, last saved, never. <laughs> additionally, I would like to know 
how long you guys want these videos to be okay you guys cool with like 35 minutes to 40 do you guys want 20 minutes to 30 like 25 minutes to 30 like what what is the preferred length for videos let me know in the comments because this is a pretty story heavy game so for me to feel like i've actually made any progress i feel like the videos will have to be longer than usual but if you don't want that then i guess the series can just go on for a long time anyhow uh sorry if it seemed like a lackluster episode you know all we really did was get one pokemon and a bunch of story but a story is a big part of the game and i don't want to skip it so uh i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to drop a like if you did and i'll see you guys in episode two Bye bye